in this chapter, we are going to cover the model manager. So this is a, a very important step. It's the final step, part of the last mile. Once you have created your prediction and you've deployed that, you want a place to go and monitor all of your predictions and uh, possibly all the models under those predictions. And model manager can be accessed under Einstein Analytics Studio. Uh, all the way down on the left, you have a model manager tab, or just you can click on it. And you're going to see all of your predictions deployed. And under each of this prediction, you can see the one or many models deployed. You can see how many models you have active. You have your total predictions. That means uh, not, not the number of these records, but actually the, the scoring of the records, how many times you've used the, these uh, predictions to score records. You can see any warnings, if you have any warnings about the data, uh, like out of bound uh, values or missing columns or slash values and so forth. And uh, this is going to be important because you might want to edit the settings from here, not to go back and redeploy the prediction. Um, you might do some uh, investigations or disable some of the models and so forth. And also you get an accuracy template. This is super important because although we talked about how you can build this from scratch when you score a data set and you build your own dashboard, but this is available. You can create uh, the uh, analytics uh, or the accuracy template once you have deployed your prediction and uh, satisfied some conditions like having at least one scored record, you've mapped all the fields uh, to the object and you have some permissions uh, to create the, the uh, template, uh, it will create this template, this dashboard where you can uh, monitor how is your prediction doing, right? So you can monitor your predicted values versus the actual values based on the terminal state that you've defined and you can have a desired accuracy, for example, and this would be your go-to to figure out, okay, do I need to go back and work on my models or tune them again or update the story, the data, and so forth. All right, let's take a look at it uh, in action. So I'm gonna just you know, swipe like this. So in this environment, if I go down to Model Manager, I'm gonna see all of the predictions. So I see all of the predictions deployed. I can see some warnings. I see the number of active models, the total models uh, listed there, uh, the prediction type, with which object last updated. I can see, again, the total active, the total predictions. Again, not, not the number of these uh, predictions, but the actual scoring that's happening, any warnings. For example, if I click on this and we go see what the warnings are, I can go to the model. This is the number one. Meaning if I have multiple models, which one, you know, is taken in that rank. Um, and I have some missing columns, you can see here. I can edit the uh, the settings from here without going back to redeploying. So I can look at, uh, sorry, I can look at the settings, which are the, um, the field mapped and if there's any segmentation and so forth. Um, I can, from this drop down, actually, this is where I edit the settings. I can disable it, I can view it, I can view the story. This is this is important because when you create the story and deploy the prediction, um, you know, like you create a story, that's the model, right? And it goes under the prediction, the model name is right here. But sometimes you co you're coming back from the other side, from this side, you, you're wondering where's the story that, that created this model, right? And this is the way you can go back and check and view the story from here. Um, again, the settings are the settings of the mapping. And this is settings of the prediction itself. So you can see the mapping uh, here. You can see the actionable variables. I'm going to cancel changes. I see the settings of the prediction itself. So do I have a predicted uh, field in the object? Um, what is my terminal uh, state? Do I need to edit that? I can. This is another helpful thing. The prediction ID is here. So when you're dealing with API or you know something advanced, and you want to track down what is this prediction ID, you can come to this page, settings, go and get the prediction ID. Scoring, we talked about it in the uh, deployment uh, video um, or chapter about how do you score data directly from here. So you can click on scoring data uh, many ways. Um, remember the limits that apply for how many uh, scoring or predictions you can do per org per 24 hours apply. So if you had a lot of uh, records being scored, um, uh, you know, and you reach that limit, it get paused and go to the uh, into the next day queue. 
Now, this is the analyze accuracy, and this you will see only if you have, like I said, you have some scoring done, you have the mapped field to the object, you have an active model, and you have some permissions to create actually the analytics template. This is an analytics template or slash app. And uh, when you click on it, it will create that uh, that dashboard that I show you that that uh, you know monitoring the accuracy um, of the of the prediction slash model based on the terminal state, the actual feed, and the predicted field. And just to tie it up a little bit, I'm going to show you the uh, the help link. So um, if you go to the main help link for Einstein Analytics, um, you're going to go under Einstein Analytics, uh, Einstein Discovery. Under Einstein Discovery, getting, uh, let me see where it is. It's all the way down and under predict outcomes and take actions. There's one called work with models. And then you go a little bit down, all the way down to manage predictions. And then you have this thing called analyze prediction accuracy with Einstein Accuracy Analytics app. So the reason I'm showing you this is because it is a little bit hidden inside the help, um, this tree. These are the permissions you need. And then when you create, there are some conditions, like, like I mentioned, some of the, uh, you know, having a score, mapping the fields and so forth. So you can check these out um, when you're deploying this uh, accuracy uh, analytics app and make sure that you, again, using it or leveraging it to monitor the accuracy of the uh, prediction. Again, this is important because typically, uh, I don't want to say it's not, uh, you know, planned for in the implementation project, but most of the focus usually is on the model tuning and the metrics, how we're doing there. But this is a considerable effort if it were not in the same platform. And here you have it as part of the platform, part of the tool. What I'm talking about is the application lifecycle management, uh, you know, uh, piece of it. And it's very easily done here under the same resource or under the same skill set, being the uh, ICE Analytics, uh, let's say, admin or whoever is assigned, um, you know, that role. With that, we covered most of the, or pretty much what, uh, you know, what model manager is about.